हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एज वी ऑल नो गैस्ट्रिक एसिड इज सिक्रीटेड बाय द पेराइटल सेल्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रेगुलेशन ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक एसिड दैट इज द फैक्टर्स और द सिक्रीशंस दैट रेगुलेट द सिंथेसिस और प्रोडक्शन ऑफ गैस्ट्रिक एसिड बाय द पेराइटल सेल्स नाउ गैस्ट्रिन एसिटाइलकोलीन एंड हिस्टमीन दे स्टिमुलेट द पेराइटल सेल्स एंड दे increase the secretion of gastric acid while somatostatin and prostaglandin specifically the prostaglandin E2 it uh, inhibit the secretion of uh, gastric acid by the parietal cells now in order to understand uh, regulation of gastric acid secretion now we will first recapitulate in brief mechanism by which gastric acid is produced by the parietal cells and then we'll talk about all these secretions and how they stimulate or inhibit the parietal cells thereby regulating the secretion of uh, gastric acid now this is a slide that explains mechanism of uh, gastric acid uh, secretion by the parietal cells now parietal cells are also called as auxentic cells and these are the cells that produce uh, gastric acid or the hydrochloric acid this is the uh, diagram of a stomach and this is a pink color uh, wall of the stomach now parietal cells are located in the gastric glands uh, which are found in the mucosal lining of the fundus and uh, body region of the stomach now this is the diagram of the parietal cell uh, inside is a cytoplasm and now water and carbon dioxide combine in the presence of the enzyme carbonic anhydrase to produce uh, carbonic acid carbonic acid spontaneously dissociate into hydrogen ion and the bicarbonate ion hydrogen ion is transported out of the parietal cells by the enzyme that is hydrogen potassium ATPase or uh, by the pump that is hydrogen potassium ATPase pump in exchange of the potassium ions so hydrogen move hydrogen ions move outside the parietal cells whereas potassium ions move inside the cytoplasm of the parietal cells now on the other hand bicarbonate ions they are transported in the blood in exchange of the chloride ions uh, by the anion exchanger so bicarbonate ions they move in the blood whereas chloride ions they are transported in the cytoplasm of the parietal cells now further this potassium and these chloride ions they diffuse out of the parietal cell potassium ions are recycled Uh, they are used by the hydrogen potassium ATPase pump while the chloride ions they associate with the hydrogen ions to produce hydrochloric acid or uh, gastric acid now this gastric acid is uh, secreted in the gastric pit of the uh, gastric glands and from where it reaches the lumen of stomach as a part of gastric juice so this is how Uh, hydrochloric acid or gastric acid is secreted by the parietal cells now let's study the different secretions that uh, stimulate or inhibit the parietal cells uh, now let's understand the process by which uh, uh, secretion of uh, uh, gastric acid by the parietal cells is regulated uh, this is the structure of the parietal cell uh, gastrin is a peptide hormone that is released by the g cells and these uh, g cells they are located in the pyloric antrum region of the stomach acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter it is a parasympathetic neurotransmitter which is released by the stimulation of vagus nerve and histamine is produced by anterochromaffin like cells which are located uh, at the base of the gastric glands now gastrin acetylcholine and histamine all three uh, of these they stimulate the parietal cells and thereby increase the release of hydrochloric acid or the gastric acid now let's see how the mechanism uh, by which uh, the parietal cell is stimulated now gastrin binds to uh, cholecystokinin receptors in the parietal cells while acetylcholine binds to its uh, muscarinic m3 receptors m3 receptors are shown here in the uh, yellow color now after binding to their receptors both gastrin as well as acetylcholine they uh, causes uh, increase they cause activation of the enzyme phospholipase c 
Now, activation of phospholipase C causes uh, increase in uh, inositol triphosphate and uh, diacylglycerol and uh, this causes mobilization of intracellular calcium. There is increase in the intracellular calcium and this causes activation or stimulation of uh, hydrogen potassium ATPase pump thereby stimulating the release of hydrochloric acid. On the other hand, histamine binds to its uh, H2 receptors. Now, histamine uh, acts through destimulatory uh, proteins. Now, as soon as the histamine binds to histamine H2 receptors, uh, the enzyme adenyl cyclase is activated. There is increase in uh, intracellular cyclic AMP that is cyclic uh, adenosine monophosphate. And uh, this causes increase in intracellular calcium in the parietal cells which as uh, discussed earlier stimulates the proton pump and there is increase in the secretion of uh, gastric acid. Now uh, somatostatin and uh, prostaglandin specifically prostaglandin E2 uh, these both uh, secretions they inhibit the uh, parietal cells uh, thereby reducing the secretion of uh, hydrochloric acid or the gastric acid by the parietal cells. Now somatostatin is secreted by D cells uh, or the delta cells. Uh, these are the endocrine cells which are located at the base of the gastric glands while prostaglandin it is produced by uh, mucosal epithelial cells of the stomach. So prostaglandin is produced by the mucosa of the uh, mucosa of the stomach. Now both somatostatin and prostaglandin E2 they bind to the parietal cells. Now somatostatin it binds to its uh, SST receptors while prostaglandin E2 binds to EP3 receptors which are located on the surface of the parietal cells and uh, further they stimulate the G inhibitory pathway. Now by stimulation of G inhibitory pathway they reduce the cyclic AMP and thereby they cause fall in the uh, levels or concentration of intracellular calcium thereby inhibiting hydrogen potassium ATPase pump thereby reducing the secretion of hydrochloric acid. Thus gastrin, acetylcholine and histamine they increase the secretion of hydrochloric acid by the parietal cells while somatostatin and prostaglandin E2 they reduce the secretion of uh, gastric acid by the parietal cells. Now out of these three secretogogues that is acetylcholine, gastrin and histamine, it is a histamine that plays a dominant role. Now uh, gastrin as well as acetylcholine, they act directly on the parietal cells. But uh, apart from this, both gastrin as well as acetylcholine, they also act indirectly by stimulating the release of histamine from anterochromaffin like cells. And this histamine, once it is released, it stimulates the parietal cells and stimulate the release of hydrochloric acid. Now, as discussed earlier, somatostatin, somatostatin is released by D cells in the gastric glands. Acetylcholine inhibits the D cells, it inhibits the release of somatostatin, whereas cholecystokinine, it stimulates the D cells and stimulates the release of somatostatin. Somatostatin inhibits the parietal cells. Now, similarly, prostaglandins, uh, specifically prostaglandin E2, is produced by gastric mucosal epithelial cells. Prostaglandin E2 binds to EP3 receptors on the parietal cells and uh, inhibits the proton pump, inhibits the release of acid. Uh, thus, uh, gastrin, histamine and acetylcholine, they increase the secretion of uh, gastric acid by the parietal cells, whereas somatostatin and prostaglandins, they reduce the secretion of gastric acid by the parietal cells. And this is how uh, gastric acid secretion is regulated. Now, if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.